subject. <laughs> How about it? You were disappointed in your performance, like I was disappointed in my performance yesterday on Monday. Uh, what, uh, what do you feel like you need to do better to, to, to get that up? Well, we just need to score touchdowns. If we score touchdowns, then everything else will be good. Like bits and pieces are coming back for you. We saw you use your legs a little bit more, uh, and we saw you go over the top a little bit more on those chunk chunk plays to guys like Devin and Kelvin. Week before that, we saw a lot of work with Christian McCaffrey. Obviously, as the game plan changed, do you feel like you're getting facets of your game back, uh, shaking that rust off? I never really felt that I, no, nothing was missed. I just got to be more complete. You know, it's it's um, you know as the season progresses. Coach Shula always says it, and this is a Shulaism, you know, play in mid-season form early on and then just have everything have everything that's around you catch up to your speed. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, but, you know, with the play of, 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 of uh, Fun and, and Benji, you know, last game, man, it was, it was exceptional, and we're going to continue to need that type of play from those guys with, you know, a couple of wounded soldiers on our end. And um, I feel confident that we're in a good space that we can do that. Julius said on Sunday, this was the best defense he's ever played on in 17 years. You go against these guys in practice. I'm just wondering, you know, is this one of the better defenses that you faced in, in practice? Is that really a question? Uh, you have. Uh, Hall of Famer and Pep, you know, you got KK, you got Starlito, you got Super Mario, you got Captain America, you got Shaquille, you got the Mayor of Charlotte, you got Bishop, you got Old School, you got Batman, and Major James and Little Cap. It's not even about them being, but to answer your question, yes, it is. But the thing that makes this, this, this unit different is the communication. I've never seen a bunch of guys fly around and, and be at one you know, in, in unison. And, and, and that speaks volumes of, of the leadership and the guys that you know, understand their role. You know, obviously we know what Luke does and what he brings to the table, but everybody listens and you, other, you see other guys checking as well. This defense is geared upon communication. As soon as the whoever checks, the we check or, or whoever makes the check, if the opposite corner makes the check, the opposite corner from that corner has to get that, that communicated and they do an exceptional job of doing that. And that's... That's the biggest uh, thing that 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 what se separates them from any defenses that I've seen, and I have the luxury of going against them in practice, and you know, um, competing with those guys every day kind of sets precedence for how our outlook is uh, getting prepared for each week. Bishop is Coleman. I'm trying to follow the rest of that. Bishop thing. Coleman, yes, yes, yeah. That's just because of his pontificating like the Pope. Or no, no, you ever, if you really talk to him, you know, he's, he's deeply embedded in, in, in the word, and uh, we all are. Uh, I feel like I am, too. Uh, but, you know, he, he always brings the, the bishoply outlook to certain things. You know, you got to monitor the way you talk around him. You know, he just feels that way. Only person that I felt that I had to monitor the way I talked like that as far as teammate-wise was uh, O.G. Koch, a clutchery, as I called him. Yeah, but uh, he got that same feeling. So if I'm talking, I look over my shoulder and see him and just give him his respect as he walks by and just finish talking, you know, but it's okay. Uh, you and Jake DeLone now each have the same number of all-time wins. I know winning is the big thing for you. So you've got 53 in the regular season now. A win Sunday would be 54. What would it mean to be the winningest all-time quarterback in this franchise history? Dang, that's what's up right there. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you this. And 
it really hit home last night. I was at a I was at a, a foundation event um, uh, with the Roaring Riot, and it was it was uh, cruising Lake Norman, whatever. And as the night going on, as the night went on, you know, the pictures were taken, and and, and everybody mellowed out. Um, and you know, the question was asked about, you know do I like it in Charlotte or what's my experience been like in Charlotte? And I, and I, and I simply said, you know, it, it works wonders for us to have such a presence, um, you know, not only in Charlotte, but outside of, uh, outside of the Carolinas. And I can remember a time my rookie year, you know, not throwing shots to anybody, but just, just hinting towards the culture is changing in the, in, in, in Charlotte. And it's a good thing. Uh, when I used to come to the games my rookie year, you know, you wouldn't see the tailgates, you wouldn't see the family vibe, the family feel, you wouldn't, see, you wouldn't even feel the excitement like you feel now. I go to the game on on this this past this past Sunday, man, and everybody's out, exuberant, happy, smiling. You know, you see the smoke from 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 the the tailgates. Everybody's cheering. You know, playing different games, and 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 when you're walking into the stadium, that energy that you feel is contagious, and and players feed off that. So, I can tell over my time here, that feel has been getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and we're going to need that. So, for me to 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 have that uh, potentially under my belt, you know, you can't you can't count a goal until you you actually see it go through the net, but. You know, it, it's just a blessing for me just to to kind of be one of the the intricate pieces of a team that 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 was been a part of the whole process from from the start, man. And and, it, and I don't think Sunday is any different. You know, we're gonna need everybody, you know, filling the bank out with with excitement because that's our edge. I've said it numerous times, and I don't want to come. Re I don't want it to become redundant, but you know when. Third down comes as an offense or a defense is on the field, you know, for that place to be rocking, you know, we're going to need that. And it starts with us. And that's why my disappointment came because we put teams out of, out of, out of their misery because of our defense's strength by scoring touchdowns. I mean, you don't need no football uh, manual to understand that. You know, we got to do our job, and, and uh, I believe we will. Draw from anything that happened in 2015 um, when you lost Kelvin Benjamin to what it's going to be like without Greg Olson and how you and the rest of the team adjusted. It'll, it'll oh, help it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. But, um, you know, one thing about it, it are we going to miss, um, you know, Mr. 3K? Absolutely. But, you know, life goes on. And, and, and I'm pretty sure the same thing will be said if I was, if I was injured. You know, we're going to make sure that – when he comes back, and he's going to come back with a vengeance, uh, that our record is, is is as flawless as we can make it. Uh, so, you know, for us, our main focus right now is becoming one and zero by the end of uh, by the end of Sunday. And uh, you know, guys like Ed, guys like Fun, guys like Benji, Kirko, and and um, you know, um, uh, C Mac. Those guys are going to need to step up, and as including myself, to uh, to fill the void. Talk to him since the surgery. Do you get a sense of kind of where he's where he's at? Uh, I have not. I plan on doing that today. Um, but you know, it, I've been in that that space. You know, to bombard a person. You know, I know he wants to come back. Uh, anybody would. You know, you always say, "Oh man, I'm so tired of football. Or, I'm God. I need to get away." Until you get away, and it's like, oh, I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. I want to come back. You know, so. Uh, um, I was going to hit him up today just to, just to kind of fill him out and uh, knowing that his, his presence is felt. You know, I, I teased a couple of weeks ago about, you know, seeing the Caucasian killers on the field. You know, so now my main focus has just been on C-Mac, you know, looking at him get prepared. And, um, you know, even more funny, you see the young tight ends kind of picking up where – what uh, the the, the pre-practice preparation that Greg does, you know, not to not to mention no names, but I see it. I see his his, you know, some of his methods dripping off on on, on that whole room. So that's that's a positive sign for that. Yeah, how are James Bradbury and Dale Worley different 
year over year, and, and what might have a, a different challenge they might present to a quarterback like Drew Brees this this. I'll tell you one thing. Um, you know, they're older and they're wiser, and uh, that's the biggest jump, you know, from your rookie year to your second year than any other year, in my opinion. And uh, you can either go one way, obviously, and the other way going, you know, you know decrease the production. But those guys understand each other and, you know, just the understanding of this defense. And um, I, I think um, Coach Wilkes does an unbelievable job with that whole, that whole unit, you know, with different egos and, you know, different, different personalities. You know, Major James is m more like Julius or Frazier, as I call him. Um, in that sense of very quiet, you know, he, he speaks with his production on the field. And, you know, you got Batman on the other side where he, he's, he's got a little, a little kick to him, and uh, we need that from him. You know, one thing about Coach Rivera, he allows us to be ourselves and, 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 and wouldn't allow us any, to, to be any other way. So we're going to need that from each and every person. Talk about facing the Saints defense who ranks uh, last in the league in total defense. <clears throat> Well, this is the division of opponent, and and we know, you know, it's a clean slate for them. You know, this game in essence kind of counts for two, and uh, you know we just have to be firing on all cylinders, offensively, defensively, and special teams. You know, given that you know this game is a division game, and we have to bring our A game. Have you ever been able to make Coach Wilkes laugh? Who Denzel? Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, often, I, mean, I got a question like that last night, too, and I bring it out of everybody, as you would imagine. You know, you being quiet around me, it's, it's highly unlikely, you know, and, uh, but you have to get me after, like, 10 a.m., because anything before 10 a.m., I'm about as quiet as, uh, as Julius, but, um, yeah, yeah, he, he's not as tough as you think he is. Um, he's, he's actually, you know, has a, has a humor side to him. You called the Dixon a diamond in the rough Sunday. Mm -hmm. What what did you mean by that? Well, he's a person that's been in this team, you know, as long as, you know, anyone, and um, you know, from understanding the the the, the blocking personnel and, and and let's face it, you know, this is an ego driven league. You know, you you don't see guys like Ed Dixon, you know, no more where. He understands his role. He's capable of being more in, in, on another team, but you know he just accepts it and he's appreciated here. And I think that's what people will see. You know, he's a person that can give you the three, the four, to even eight catches potentially at, at the tight end position, and very well make me feel extremely protected. You know, in in, in the pass game as well. So he's been doing that over the years and. Um, you know, the time is now for him. How about Chris Amherst? Uh, Blistex? Um, Blistex? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all scratching your head, but i give you the quick scenario. Well, in, in camp, he had a couple blisters on his feet. And I told him, you know, if he came to the greener side wearing UAs where we protect the house and stuff, we protect <laughs> feet too, you know, he wouldn't have as many blisters on his feet. So. Uh, that's how he got the name Blistex. Um, but, you know, we're expecting a lot of things from him, too. And, um, you know, it, it, that, that position, that position, you know, we, we, we can't treat it as if we're wounded in that, in, at, that, at that point. We're just going to need guys to, to lift their game play up and uh, to compensate for it. Why do you call Curtis Samuel Kirko? Because I used to call Bishop Kirko. Now I gave Bishop Bishop, and now I gave Curtis Kirko. Yeah, you said that you could sense the fan culture changing a little bit. Yes. Uh, is that something that you can sense in the locker room too, that kind of have that winning culture? Well, you know, that's been set. You know, that was set a long time ago. Well, a couple of years ago, as a matter of fact. But, you know, any time, you know, it's just it's just an on field thing, and, and when, when you're coming into the stadium, you know you got people that 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 are fans, and, and 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 they we owe it to them just as much as we owe it to our families sometimes because you know in the Carolinas they don't have a lot of pride, or, or let me say rephrase that, they they don't have a lot of things that they can put their pride to, 
and you got the Hornets, obviously, you got the hockey team, you got uh, uh, the Panthers being one. Uh, so we take pride in trying to give guys or, or, or people uh, the happiness when, when football season is, is, is in and, and not taking anything away from any other sport that's, that's internal. But as that competitive nature comes out, we want to be, uh, uh, we want to take, take pride in, 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 in having everybody represent us, you know, during, during the game week. And, and, and that's big for us. Does Ed Dixon have a nickname? Eddie Kane. Well, Ed, Eddie, and uh, it, I don't think it's appropriate for this uh, this type of network. But <laughs> Where do you remember his shoes? His shoes from? He's an Under Armour athlete. He's protecting his house. Uh, you can guarantee he won't have no blisters in there. I can tell you that. <laughs> Nicknames. What do you think about another Superman being in Charlotte with Dwight Howard? I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Uh, he's he's a local guy, and and you know him with him being in Atlanta, I've, I've always been a, a, a fan of his. He's been older than me. I, I followed his career from afar, and um, you know, it's different seasons, and I'll be showing my support. You know, come come basketball season as well. How much interaction have you guys had over the years? Obviously, as Atlanta guys. Well, not not really. You know, not really much, but you know, I, I could tell you, our uh, parents are, are 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 really really close with each other, and uh, you know, we've crossed paths in, in years past, and you you would kind of expect that, and uh, I'm expecting big things for him as well. A week or so ago, that Ryan Khalil was like a calming effect for you. Who's that for you when he's out like he was this past week? Well, the job still got done. You know, we just got to keep building, and like I say, when when, when one guy goes out. There's no need to, to panic or, or try to, you know, um, go in the tank. We need guys to lift their play up. Uh, Trey's done a, you know, great job. Uh, we need Bucky to, you know, step his game up, and he is and has, uh, as well as all yell, and uh, we'd be good to go. Cam, kind of off topic, but you've got a new partnership with this app where it encourages people to unplug. You're always in the – social media world always in the public eye. Why do you think that's important and why did you want to be a part of that? Um, I mean, well, it, well it's, it's important. And I don't think as, as, as athletes, we don't let our voice be heard enough in a, in, a, in a more humanistic voice, you know. And I think it's very important that people see that side. And, 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 when, that, and when that is translated for when people, you know, realize that if you don't treat your body well, and if you're sore, uh, it's no different than if you're a football player or a starting quarterback in the NFL. You know, we, we're, we have so many similarities as humans, and, and, and it doesn't make us any different that we're on TV more than not. We still need a pinnacle to, to express our feelings in any way, uh, shape, form. All right, thank you.